Hi everyone, this is James Nussbaumer again, and I'm so glad to be with you. Today I really want to talk about um, chapter 25 briefly, um, the section called The Rock of Salvation and A Course in Miracles, this raggedy old version again that is so close to me. Um, the, uh, the section called Ro The Rock of Salvation in chapter 25, and chapter 25 is called The Justice of God. But let me just read you something real quick here in uh, paragraph 12. Salvation is rebirth of the idea no one can lose for anyone to gain, and everyone must gain if anyone could be a gainer. You know, doesn't that make sense? And and, and that's really what salvation is all about, that is, is if, if one person is going to gain, we all gain. But, you know, I talked about in previous videos about you know, letting go and undoing of our errors and, and the window that I discovered, you know, allowing the window shade to come up, you know, so we can see through the window or let the light in, so to speak. You know, um, speaking of the justice of God, you know, the thoughts that I would consistently have of two of me or two masters, you know, that we all sometimes you know, who really am I? You know, the good or the bad side of me? Which which one am I? Because we all have our, you know, a little bit downside and our negative side. And sometimes it's even worse depending on the situation, what's going on in one's life. But I would come to realize where what forced me to choose between my body and the real me. Yes, I finally was able to discover that and, and accept that. You know, my real, the real me over my body or... What I mean by the real me, we can say reality, true reality. There is no doubt about the light, capital L, the light that touches me, all of us together as one. And now I know that, you know, my body just goes along with me for the ride, at least for a while yet, thanks to the window. And later what I would learn from A Course in Miracles I'm able to see that I am drawn to the abundant light and realize it has always been with me, but I just had the window shade down. Now that my will is to extend it, the light is always there. The window shade is up because I've allowed my will. The will to extend my light is what I want to do. So the window shade never goes down. It never has to be pulled up. If that makes sense, if you've read my book, The Master of Everything, we talk about the window and the window shape. But I'm able to perceive and acknowledge that I have everything I need within me. I'm realizing that I must usually perceive first before knowing, before knowledge sets in. My mind projects my bodily, in, my bodily image and also my guilt and fear make my body seem real but it's really not. For the time being, guilt and fear remain with us in this world, but they are separate illusions. When I say for the time being, it's because time is all that we see. All of our physical perceptions are based on time, but we can progressively subdue time. Yes, we can. The realm where we're thinking where our thinking side identifies with the body and its boundaries, who and what we think we are. We can learn that this is the unreal or the unnatural self we made. Isn't this really what Jesus wanted us to understand when he said, forgive them for they know not what they do? We don't know our real self and to forgive will allow us to let go. So we did make ourselves up. So, so what we did make of ourselves can be undone. In other words, to look beyond what we think is our body is forgiving ourselves, and that will allow us to let go. And, and what we did make of ourselves can be undone. And back in those days, you know, when, when Jesus walked this earth and when he said, Forgive them, for they know not what they do, that's the best way he could explain it in the circumstances and the situation that he was in at when he walked the dream of life. Hey, I hope this makes sense, uh, everyone. And feel free to leave me a comment at my website 
or ask a question if you'd like, and I'd be glad to answer it. Thanks for listening to me tonight. Thank you. Have a great day.